I'm generally unhappy with the way most people handle spoilers. And this goes for anything that can be spoiled for that matter. The underlying problem here is that it is very easy to get information now with the invention of the internet, and because of this everything gets spoiled way too easily. There was one instance that really particularly bothered me, and I hope not everybody acts like this when it comes to spoilers. I was about 9 episodes behind on Big Brother because I had gone on vacation and I went to VidCon and obviously I'm not going to be watching Big Brother during VidCon. One day while I'm keeping up on my Facebook, I see spoilers for a Big Brother episode and just luckily I had had enough time to catch up on some of the Big Brother episodes that I'd missed, so it wasn't such a big deal. And so after I confronted him about it, he just said that because the episode had aired already, it doesn't matter that I hadn't watched it yet. I'm very mindful about what I talk about on Facebook and Twitter with regards to things that can be spoiled because I know how easily I can spoil something for somebody that hasn't watched it yet. And I've had my fair share of experiences spoiling things for people. The two instances that come to mind are with regards to two popular franchises you might have heard about. I'm talking with one of my co-workers about Harry Potter, and I casually bring up Spoilers for anybody who hasn't read or watched Half-Blood Prince. That Snape kills Dumbledore, and she freaked out because she hadn't read the book. At the time, I didn't even think of it as a spoiler, because by that time, everybody should have known that Snape kills Dumbledore. Another thing that happened recently is, again, I was talking to one of my co-workers. We were talking about how bad Breaking Dawn Part 1 is, and I casually brought up Spoilers for anybody who cares for the Twilight Saga whatsoever. I stood up and cheered when the demon baby destroyed Bella's spine, and then the girl on the line buying the concessions said, I haven't seen the movie yet. And so I booked it the other way. That is the only time I've generally felt bad about spoiling something for somebody, even if it's something from the Twilight Saga. I would say about one week would be a good time frame to be able to not talk about spoilers on any social networking website. That gives everybody enough time to be able to watch the episodes and be able to enjoy them without any spoilers. While we're talking about TV, I just want to say how distraught I am right now that Community might be cancelled. I really, really, really hope that doesn't happen. Please, NBC, please hear this plead from a stupid Canadian guy sitting in a chair. Do not cancel Community. Don't do it! This makes me wonder how about how it was like in the 80s and how nothing Nothing seemed to be spoiled for anybody. Just think, how would have people felt if The Empire Strikes Back was spoiled before anybody got to see it? There would have been a public outcry. And now everyone is just nonchalant about spoilers. It's like, oh, yeah, that happened. Or, oh, yeah, that happened too. Uh. I even have to go out of my way to avoid spoilers, and that's not even fun. The take-home message from this stupid guy sitting in a chair is please don't spoil anything. You're ruining enjoyment somebody has for something that they haven't seen yet, and I know firsthand what it's like to take the joys out of a little girl's dream and crush them with my hand, with my fists. Be cautious about what you see on the internet, because I am now too. The things you say can ruin happiness for almost anybody. And I know how deeply upset I would have been had The Hunger Games been spoiled for me before I read it. The closing message here, as our good friend Mr. Mackey would say, would happen to be, spoilers are bad, okay?